Let's make art. Today, we'll make art like Ed Ruscha. Ed Ruscha is a Los Angeles-based artist who combines text and images in often humorous and thought-provoking ways. Ruscha's work is also influenced by the signs you see along the road and throughout Los Angeles. Signs from restaurants, gas stations, and other businesses can be used to create images that are iconic of a time and place. Today, you will create your own artwork that combines text and images of a place that's meaningful to you. You can pause this video or scroll back to any step if you need to. Here's what you'll need. Paper. Image from a magazine or photograph of a place that reminds you of where you live or a place you visited. Pencil. Cardboard. Crayons or colored pencils. A ruler. Scissors. Ready? Let's start. First, think about the places that you visited or the city you live in. Are there places that are special to you? Make a list of places you're thinking of. Look through magazines and photographs and start gathering images from your list. After you're done finding images, pick one to start with. We'll use inspiration from this image to make the first part of your artwork. Return to your list and write out all the words or phrases that come to mind when you look at your image. Do the words match the photo, or are they the opposite? Are the words funny or serious when combined with the image? After growing up in Oklahoma, Ruscha made his way out west to Los Angeles. He was inspired by all the colorful billboards he saw along the way. Ruscha is interested in how words can be rearranged, the type of font used, and how words look once they're combined with an image or background. Now it's time to start drawing. Using your colored pencils or crayons, draw an image inspired by your chosen photo. It's okay if it doesn't look exactly like the photo. What's important is that it represents a place that's meaningful to you. You can also pick out one part of the photo to draw as your background. After you're done drawing, look back at your list and decide what word or phrase you want to layer on top of your image. Write the word or phrase on the piece of cardboard. You can use a ruler to help make the letters equal in size. To turn this into a stencil, cut the letters out. Now take your stencil and lay it over your drawing. Trace your text and fill it in. Continue to make more image and text combinations. You're done! What kind of combination was created by your text and image? Is it a strange one? A funny one? We would love to see your creation. With an adult's permission, share a photo of your artwork with us on social media by tagging the bro and using hashtag the Broad from home. Next time you're at the Broad, you can see more artwork like Ed Ruscha's that may inspire you to make art at home. Thanks for watching.